Hey! Danya Kraster is here and welcome to a Science Nut House. Today we're going to play around with liquid nitrogen. To be honest, all that crap is pretty cheesy. I did it every fucking where. For other YouTube channels, for a TV twice, and for other TV... Uh, for some projects. Anyway, here we are. Let's have some fun and talk about liquid nitrogen and what it can do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, liquid nitrogen. We have it in the, that kind of a flask. It's called Dewar flask. Who the flask is Dewar, we have to find out. But actually, it's a kind of a thermos. Household thermos, but this one is an, an industrial type. It's full of liquid nitrogen. It's liquid because it's cooled down to minus 167 and more Celsius. Get down another 20 and we get to zero in Kelvin. What does it mean? We know we have Kelvin, Celsius, Fahrenheit, etc., etc., but absolute zero by Kelvin means that the molecules lose their bonds. That means that everything we see around an absolute zero turns into a fucking mash. Just molecular mash. Huh? How do you like them crapples? We're pretty close to that temperature. What can liquid nitrogen do with food and other stuff and how can we use it? Let's see. As soon as we pour liquid nitrogen anywhere, you can see it even on that plug here. It starts to vapor. It turns from a liquid state into gas under a room temperature and starts to evaporate. The same happens with water at 100 Celsius, but at 15 Celsius it happens with liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Yeah, enough of theory, let's have some fun. So, boiling water, 100 Celsius, liquid nitrogen, minus 167 Celsius. If we mix them, the nitrogen will vapor away in a second. Some boiling water and some liquid nitrogen. What we gotta get? A huge steam column. One, two, three. <laughs> Still looks fucking awesome. Celebrations, kids, parties, hangouts, and that stuff will do great. A table where you're drinking at or whatever the fuck you do there. <laughs> Let's talk about safety while using liquid nitrogen and Leiden frost effect. Nitrogen evaporates in a second. And if you stick your hand into it pretty quickly, there'll be an air bubble made out of steam around your hand. It's called Leiden frost effect. For some time, it's pretty safe to stick your hand in liquid nitrogen. It's similar with melted metals like plumber because the moisture from your skin evaporates immediately. Feels like sticking your hand into something very fluffy. Polystyrene balls, like a load of them, but very cold. As you can see, it didn't get traumatized in any way. If it was too cold, I'd have redding on my skin by now. So we have our liquid nitrogen ready. We talked about Leidenfrost effect. And I would like to make my point. Liquid nitrogen can be put into your mouth if you want to perform something like that. But I don't really advise you to do it, because we don't know what might happen. The swallowing reflex might take place, and I want to remind you that this crab expands 700 times in volume. If you swallow 10 grams of liquid nitrogen, 7 liters of gas will burst your gut. Or you will burp for ages. Let's move on to destruction. And we'll start with a cucumber, as common as it is. I'll shorten it a bit. It's going to freeze up and reach the temperature of liquid nitrogen. It's boiling a little right now. Attention, the cucumber is frozen. I'd like to put on my goggles so I won't get anything frozen sticking in my eye. And a welding glove to protect my hand from the frostbite. Because these things, they are really cold by touch. While it's getting frozen, let's see a fresh cucumber being smashed. And now for a frozen one. <laughs> Sounds like a chandelier. Okay, we're done with the cucumber. Let's move on to something more fun. Let's mesh an onion. More nitrogen. As you can guess, you must store liquid nitrogen in a closed flask. At room temperature, it's unreal to handle it because it turns into vapor just like this and blows the fuck up. But you can store it in a Dewar flask or in huge Dewar flasks equipped with some special pressure dump device. Thus, it can be stored longer. Let's add some onions. Are you ready? I am. <laughs> oh. 
Holy shit, it breaks like a Christmas toy. Happy New Year! Now we put a tomato into our cryo chamber. While it freezes up, I've googled some stuff. Turns out my theory part was a bit fucked up. So minus 195 Celsius is the temperature for the liquid nitrogen. And it's 70 degrees Kelvin from the absolute zero, not 20 like I've said. Okay, the tomato is frozen. Let's smash it. It got so frozen it broke up. Temperature, water, extension, all that crap. Smash! Pepper. Six liters of liquid nitrogen are like six bucks, and the war flasks rent money $300. Pretty cheap, I guess. For fun or business, it costs as much as dry ice. So, the pepper is also frozen. Always felt good about it. Even if the alcohol gets frozen, I won't leave it and gonna chew it because it's awesome. Will vodka get frozen in liquid nitrogen and can we spread it on the piece of bread? Mmm, Russian celebration. Tastes like chaos. Okay, we need some vodka. Let's put it on ice bath on liquid nitrogen. Smells like dog shit, actually. Oh, we have some devices to record the temperature, but they're not suitable for something lower than uh, 20 Celsius. They're pretty fucking expensive, but I hope we'll get them someday. <laughs> Meanwhile, our vodka turned into ice cream. Oh, over frosted it a bit. When it was jelly-like, it was easier, I guess. It's fucking frozen, but no, it's okay when you use a knife. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you that we're spreading bread with fucking vodka. Who's not driving today? So, but be careful though, don't take a big bite because it's freaking cold. It can burn your mouth. whiskey. <laughs> Could be worse. Now I think the expression bread and vodka got a completely different meaning. And before moving on from destruction to something useful, where liquid nitrogen can be used, I would like to crash that ball. We used to have fun with balloons that way. It can't get frozen entirely when it's blown up. It deflates and then blows up again, yeah, if it won't get broken. So the ball seems to be a bit frozen, let's smash it. <laughs> and now it's going to blow up again. Come on, buddy. Oh, I'm blushing. Let's smash a flower. What is this? I don't know shit about flowers. Is it chrysanthemum? A half of it fell off already. It gets smashed like a pack of toothpicks. You wanna fuck with me? I'm gonna fuck on you! <laughs> Excuse him, why? I've got petals in my goggles. How to put a bearing in its place? It doesn't fit in, and I don't have a pressing machine. The only way is to cool it down. Also, liquid nitrogen is used at factories to bend some tubes. Before, they used the sand to do it. You put some sand in a tube, bend it, and you don't get no wrinkles. The tube stays smooth while being bent. Now, they use water and liquid nitrogen for it. Okay, let's check it out. Did it shrink? Like my anus in times of trouble or whatever? I'm not sure it fits in. Let's try another one. That's not the way to do it, but I don't give a rat's ass. Nothing to lose.
That's how liquid nitrogen helps you to put bearing in. Okay, it's sad as a gypsy to try to place a bearing in some plastic using liquid nitrogen. But anyway, it works. So, we have a final step. How does metal break when it's frozen by liquid nitrogen? Does it get fragile and can we break a padlock if we freeze it with liquid nitrogen? They might not work after being frozen, but anyway. While it gets all frozen up, I'd like to feast on some corn puffs. Actual liquid nitrogen is used in some restaurants to prepare dishes like molecular, kitchen and the likes. Seems like the taste is better. Don't do it at home or at all. Only I can do it. Let's get down to our padlocks. Come on, I can't even lock it. Okay, fuck it. Let's try to destroy. A frozen padlock. Let's smash it. Not bad. As you can see, the shackle broke off. But also, there is a crack in the lock itself. So the two padlocks are kinda hanging. I'm going to freeze them a bit and just smash them with a hammer. Let's see how hard the locks are. Go hammers! It's dead now. Let's try another one. Or I can just try to break it with my own hands. Well, it was fucking easy. As you can see, the locks and some other devices don't really like when it's below zero. If you dig that craziness, science, experiments, trash and all that crap, subscribe to our channel. Like this video. My name is Daniel Kraster. See you soon with more stuff. And also, we have some topics left concerning liquid nitrogen. Can we freeze gas? Sure we can. Can we spread it on a piece of bread? I guess we can. Etc. Etc. Okay, bye. Okay, the table is covered in crap. Just like I love it. Vodka ice cream. Want some? Some salad. Nitric borscht?